You have all the connectors, pipes, and tools you need for your project, which means you're ready to build. The first step when building is measuring and cutting your pipes. If you have a shop or power tools readily available, cutting conduit can be done with various saws and methods. But we like this inexpensive pipe and tube cutter because it's approachable and easy to use, it doesn't require any electricity, and it has a built-in reamer for deburring. Once we have our measurement marked, we can take our pipe and tube cutter and cut the pipe. Using the screw feed cutter we offer, loosen the knob until the opening is slightly larger than the conduit. Once you line up the cutting wheel on the mark, you can lightly tighten the wheel and begin turning it around the pipe. Every few turns, tighten the wheel until the pipe is cut. And keep in mind not to over tighten the cutter. The final step is to remove any burrs that are formed during the cut. On the same cutting tool, pull out the triangular reamer, insert it into the open end like so, and remove any burrs. When measuring, it is important to remember the additional length that the connectors add so you can plan your measurements accordingly. When connecting a perpendicular pipe as shown, the connectors add one inch and the pipe adds one inch as well. So if you need a 24 inch cross pipe like this one, you would need to cut the pipe 20 inches long. Once assembled, this 20 inch pipe and the two inches of connection length on each side equal the 24 inch measurement you need. Now that you know how to measure and cut conduit, put these skills to the test and get started on your project. Click the link in the description to pick up the cutter used in this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.